The role of zinc in early child development is pivotal. It's, it's foundational, uh, both in terms of uh, growth, but also in terms of cognitive development and development of the uh, immune system and other very important biologic functions as you mature as a young child. Every individual needs zinc to live. It, it interacts with 300 different enzymes in your body. It's crucial for brain development in children, particularly under the age of two, and sadly 450,000 children every year under the age of five die of zinc deficiency. Tech and, and Cominco within it has been involved in zinc for over 100 years. You know, we think zinc, we know everything about zinc, and we're passionate about zinc. And then you learn about zinc deficiency causing so many young children to die. You've just got to do something about it. The driving force behind Tech's initiative is ab absolutely kids' lives. I mean, it's, uh, it's amazing to us, uh, those of us in the business who've been in the business a long time, uh, that still today we have something like 450,000 kids dying each year from a, from a lack of zinc, from a deficiency in zinc. And quite honestly, that's something that we in the industry just, we, we can't contemplate that, we can't accept that. We have to do something about it, it's just not right. The children who are dying of zinc deficiency are really dying of diarrhea. And diarrhea sadly kills more children than AIDS, malaria, and measles combined. Basically, there are two places in the world that we're supporting UNICEF, one in Peru, one in Nepal. And this, I had the great privilege of being able to go on this field trip to Nepal. And our whole focus was going to be just get the tablets there. When you um, start investigating, you find out it's a lot more than that. The, the, the mothers really don't understand why they should take zinc, so they had to be shown and taught and brought along. I just kind of blown away by, by the, the dedication of the uh, women who were working with mothers and with the uh, healthcare professionals, the go-betweens, who really brought the, brought the zinc to the mums and taught the mums how to give it to their children and why it was important to get them really committed. They did so with, with, with joy and happiness, and to see them um, in that frame, to see them so happy and so um, selfless was just marvelous. I think if we can get the supplements and the medicines in place to, to hit the problem hard, right where it's needed today, and reduce dramatically the number of deaths that are occurring each year, in the background, we're working very hard to get zinc, more zinc recognized into fertilizers, which will boost the amounts that are in some of the staple crops that are in the world. That will then supplement the diet in those parts of the world where there's a zinc deficiency today and hopefully do away with the whole problem. So we have both a short-term and a long-term solution. There's another 400,000 lives probably to be saved if we could improve diets or we could improve zinc in the soil, uh, if we could fortify food so that all children received adequate amounts of zinc, that would probably result in a, the saving of close to 800,000 lives a year. I think the response we've had from our employees has been absolutely phenomenal. A small story at our last operators meeting, every quarter we bring all our general managers from all our operations into Vancouver to have a series of meetings over two days to discuss how we're doing, what common problems do we face. And uh, we took the, the opportunity at the last meeting to present to them Zinc Saves Kids, a description of what it's about, why it's important. I fully expected from the guys who work for me, from the people who are in the zinc business, to get a very good response. But I was hard pressed to think that people in coal and copper would show the level of interest that they did. The level of interest was absolutely phenomenal. And a number of those general managers not involved in Zinc today said, doing something like this is the right thing to do. We have to step up to the plate. We have to be involved. And doing it makes me very proud to be a, uh, an employee of this company. I'm very proud to say that the whole company is behind it. Whether you're in the coal division or the copper division or the energy division or gold, everybody recognizes that this is something that we should do. We can make a difference, and so we will.